Hey, isn't this your favorite thing? Doing yes. videos? I love videos <laughs> for social media. That you don't have any of? Just ask the question. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so a lot of times when we're about to have some kind of event that's for couples, it, history has shown with me that often it's hard to get men to come. Why? Why is it a hard? Because I've, I've asked you to go to like a marriage conference before and you've been very hesitant. So why? What is that about men? I don't know. It's probably unfair to put all men in the same category. I agree. I mean, I can speak for myself, I guess. Um, the idea of going and spending a weekend with people you don't know, strangers, um, especially for somebody who's introverted like me, that feels like a big ask. Sure. That's a hurdle for some people. Yeah, I get that. Um I know, I think about our marriage, and as the leader of our marriage, I know there are always things I could do better. Like the other night we were sitting on the couch and you said, we need a date night. And because I can't remember the last time I planned a date night. And so the thought of going to a weekend to focus on all the things that I don't do well, oh. that's not exciting. Of course to, not. You know, to, to walk home with a to-do list of all the things that I haven't done well. Um, and is that what that feels like it's going to be? Sometimes. And then, you know, I, I guess um, maybe sometimes I think people can feel a fear of being exposed, like put on the spot and asked to do something spiritual that makes them uncomfortable or they're not equipped for, or I don't know. It's just, you know, the fear of being exposed is another one. So I, the, the list probably goes on and I, I, I don't mean to generalize and put all men in the same category, but those are things for me that have surfaced from time to time. So you kind of shared what, can cause men to be hesitant, which I really appreciate that. The same thing is true for women. It can cause women to be hesitant to come to something like that. I'm, I'm introverted and those are hard things for me. So knowing that, I think you and I both have been really intentional to create a weekend experience where it doesn't feel that way. So what would you tell a man about a weekend experience that is kind of different from all the fears you described? Yeah, maybe the first thing is you may come as a married couple, but once you're there, the content, the structure, the way you encounter God in that process is really not about your marriage. It's very personal and individualized. You're there as a couple, but the experience is more personal to you. It's not a marriage conference or a marriage retreat. And so I, I guess I would, I would encourage husbands, men, that if you're watching this um, out of curiosity or your wife has said, hey, we should go to this, and there's a little piece of you that feels a nudge, a prompting, a curiosity. That's the Holy Spirit, I think, urging you. And I, I know that time in times of my life where I have been willing to lean in when the Lord gives me an invitation or a nudge, I've never regretted it. That if that's if that's you and you're experiencing this nudge then the Lord has something for you there. And he won't bring you there and then leave you hanging. And those little nuggets that we get are um, life-giving, life-changing. Um, and so you don't want to miss that. And that would be my encouragement is um, come check it out. Um, and we don't put people on the spot. No, we don't. There's a lot of freedom there to participate at the level you feel comfortable 
um, and engage in what you feel drawn to. So it's for all types. And I, I really think it would be a fun experience. And Gracie will be there. And she's very demanding. So you kind of shared what can cause men to be hesitant, which I really appreciate that. The same thing is true for women. It can cause women to be hesitant to come to something like that. I'm, I'm introverted and those are hard things for me. So knowing that, I think you and I both have been really intentional to create a weekend experience where it doesn't feel that way. So what would you tell a man about a weekend experience that is kind of different from all the fears you described? Yeah, maybe the first thing is you may come as a married couple, but once you're there, the content, the structure, the way you encounter God in that process is really not about your marriage. It's very personal and individualized. You're there as a couple, but the experience is more personal to you. It's not a marriage conference or a marriage retreat. And so I, I guess I would, I would encourage husbands, men, that if you're watching this um, out of curiosity or your wife has said, hey, we should go to this, and there's a little piece of you that feels a nudge, a prompting, a curiosity. That's the Holy Spirit, I think, urging you. And I, I know that time in times of my life where I have been willing to lean in when the Lord gives me an invitation or a nudge, I've never regretted it. That if that's if that's you and you're experiencing this nudge then the Lord has something for you there. And he won't bring you there and then leave you hanging. And those little nuggets that we get are um, life-giving, life-changing. Um, and so you don't want to miss that. And that would be my encouragement is um, come check it out. Um, and we don't put people on the spot. No, we don't. There's a lot of freedom there to participate at the level you feel comfortable um, and engage in what you feel drawn to. So it's for all types, and I, I really think it would be a fun experience. And Gracie will be there, and she's very demanding. <laughs>